Hey guys, Sean here, uh, just out walking around. And you know, a lot of people have been messaging me and asking me to talk about this. Todd Phillips' comment about can't do comedies anymore in, in a woke culture, right? I saw those comments and I didn't really even think anything of them. I didn't think they were important or anything. I didn't make them a story on the John Campy show earlier. However, I had a bunch of you guys message me and say I should have talked about it and you'd like to hear my thoughts about it. So while I'm out walking around, thought I'd give my thoughts on it. Now, the first thing I should say is this. I don't expect anybody to agree with my point of view on this. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I'm gonna watch this video a year from now and even agree with myself. I might have a totally different point of view or a totally different perspective a year from now. I mean, first of all, let's be clear about Todd Phillips' comments. He's not wrong. In today's culture of oversensitivity, it's really difficult for comedians or filmmakers to be funny without everybody looking for something to feel triggered about. Now, that being said, there's a difference, I believe, between we shouldn't be sensitive at all and being oversensitive. We live in a culture today of a lot of extremes. It's like everybody feels like it has to be one extreme or the other. Either let's denigrate and insult and put down everybody with no, you know, no consequences to what we're doing. Let's just put down everybody and make people feel bad versus everybody who's like, oh my goodness, that person is 125th Native American. You can't make fun of them. I kind of believe there should be a middle ground. Like for instance, let's, let's take Dave Chappelle's comedy special for a while because I saw a lot of people talking about Dave Chappelle's comedy special before I actually saw it myself. And I saw a lot of people were very upset by it. I watched his comedy special and I was like, there's really nothing offensive in this. In the sense of this, I think there's a difference between, you know, comedy and telling a joke and its intent. You know, if the intent is to put somebody down, to insult somebody, to lessen the value of a person or of a people group, that's one thing. But what I felt what Dave Chappelle did was actually, let's bring us all like one big family into the joke together. Let's make fun of each other. Let's laugh at the things that make us who we are a little bit. And like for me, watching Dave Chappelle, and again, let me stress, I'm not saying everybody should agree with me and I'm not saying I'm necessarily right. I'm just saying my impression of watching the Dave Chappelle comedy special was a guy saying, let's all laugh at each other together. It almost felt unifying to me in many ways. You know, my wife, who's got a little bit of D Chinese DNA in her, when it got to the Chinese jokes, stuff like I'm like, oh, but my wife was laughing on the floor because she knew the intent of the jokes and the humor was not to put her or anybody else down. The intent of the joke was, let's all laugh at ourselves. So on the one hand, I think it's good that we live in a little bit more of a, I don't know, civilized era where we realize, you know what, we can't just trounce down and make people the kicking bag of our jokes and just with really bad intent make fun of and denigrate and all this kind of stuff of who they are. But at the same time, we got to make sure we don't slingshot too far the other way where it's like, we can't even laugh at ourselves anymore. Now, that doesn't mean we can't do it with sensitivity and we can't try to keep an eye on when do we cross a line and stuff like that. And so I believe that. So look. I think what Todd Phillips said was correct, but I also believe that there's some degree of that and maybe we should move a little bit more in that direction without overdoing it and without going too far. The Kevin Hartwood situation is a great example of where I thought we became way too oversensitive. When we live in a culture now that we start hunting down and trying to find things in ways that people said something or maybe a way that they said it that we can make and interpret and forcibly be, this is offensive. I think then we've gone too far. But then again, maybe I shouldn't talk about the Kevin Hart situation because I tend to get myself in trouble when I do. Look, the basic of the idea here is this. We're all too quick to jump to one extreme or the other without considering the fact that maybe there's some kind of middle ground. Is Top Phillips right that we're a little bit too woke for a lot of comedians who want to do comedy? Yeah, he probably is. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to be a little bit more sensitive, especially when we look at historically how some people groups have been treated. I think there's a middle ground there. So anyway, again, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I certainly don't think everybody should agree with me. I'm not even sure I'll agree with myself a little while from now. But those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below.